A recycling program is to be instituted in Fayetteville, North Carolina, which has a mass burn incinerator. The incinerator is capable of incinerating 475 tons per day. The city is planning to recycle newspaper, corrugated board, glass, aluminum, and bimetallic cans. The city's typical waste breakdown is as follows. With the incinerator operating at 84% of capacity, the loss of energy to the incinerator with a recycling program efficiency of 75% is most nearly a 5 times 10 to the 8th power b 6 times 10 to the 8th power c 7 times 10 to the 8th power or d 8 times 10 to the 8th power pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to complete the problem Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will discuss waste to energy facilities. Municipal solid waste, often called garbage, is usually burned at special waste to energy plants that use the heat from the fire to make steam for generating electricity or to heat buildings. Municipal solid waste contains biomass or biogenic plant or animal products materials such as paper, cardboard, food waste, grass clippings, leaves, wood, leather products, as well as non-biomass combustible and non-combustible materials such as glass and metals. Producing electricity or other types of power is only one reason to burn municipal solid waste. This waste management option also reduces the amount of material that will probably be buried in landfills, which is considered to be the last resort for waste disposal. Ultimately, burning municipal solid waste reduces the volume of waste by about 87%. So we are looking for the decrease in the amount of energy created by the incinerator once the city begins this recycling program. We have the daily waste rates and breakdown of the waste constituents, and we have the energy values for each of the waste types. So let's get started. First, let's calculate how much waste will be potentially affected by the recycling program. We have the incinerator maximum capacity of 475 tons per day and we see that the incinerator capacity is currently 84 percent and that the recycling efficiency is 75 percent we can use this information to get the amount of waste potentially affected by the recycling program which is 299.3 tons per day next we need to get the energy generated by the recyclables in the waste stream the city is planning to recycle newspaper, corrugated board, glass, aluminum, and bimetallic cans. And the city's waste breakdown has a percentage of each waste constituent and its heating value. We're going to take the heating value of each waste stream that will be recycled, which are in units of BTU per pound, and multiply it by its percentage in the total municipal waste stream by converting the percentages into pounds of that stream in a 100 pound sample of the city's municipal waste. Doing this will make our answer be in units of BTU per 100 pounds of waste since the total of all the waste streams now equal 100 pounds. We do this and sum them all together and we get 116,654 BTU per 100 pounds of waste. We convert this into BTU per tons and we get 2.3 million BTU per ton. We have the energy loss per ton of waste and we have the daily rate of waste going into the incinerator so we multiply these figures together and we get 698 million BTU per day which is closest to C. Join us for episode 33 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.